Tell me how much you love me. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday. Um, today, Greg and I go to get the inspection done on the house. Um, it did a little like dusting last night. Now it's turned to rain, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm just now finishing up with the gym. I did fasted cardio, so now I just sit in the car for a few minutes and make sure that, um, you know, the blood is coming back and I'm feeling okay and I'm okay to drive because. Um, you know, when I do my workouts, I get like really winded and, um, yeah, it's just good to sometimes sit down and just wait a few minutes to, uh, to kind of bring it back a little. And, uh, I'm back to calculating all of my stuff. I think I'm going to go back to calculating my, my food in my fitness pal. Um, seeing that we're going to be moving soon, there's a certain weight in my mind that I want to be by the time that we move. And, um, you know, I definitely need to start lifting more so that I can help actually move our stuff. Even though the boys are supposed to be coming over, um, my stepson and his friends should um, be helping us move. But I still like to have my, my hands in everything. So um, that's what's going on. We watched the Super Bowl last night and I was falling asleep. So hmm, whatever. It, it, was, it was an okay game. I mean, it wasn't my team. So... It doesn't really matter to me. Um, what else happened? Oh, I had to go to Jackson Hewitt um, to get my 2012 federal forms because they need it for um, getting us the, uh, the loan approval and everything. And we're like in the final stages with that. And I think what it does is like he has to give us the okay like three days prior to closing. So it's, I don't know, I don't understand why it's done that way, but it is. I guess so that they can say, okay, Dawn and Greg didn't go out and buy like, you know, a Mercedes or something right before they went into this debt with this house. I guess that's kind of their thought process. But anyway, um, I had to go to Jackson Hewitt and they don't give you, apparently, they don't give you your federal forms when they finish. How it was explained to me is they want to make sure that you pay for your taxes. I'm like, um, I pay in cash on the day that you guys do it. So there's no reason. So I'm like, they're holding this stuff. And the, the really messed up thing is I wouldn't have known it unless we were doing this right now. And th that was the only time I ever went to Jackson Hewitt. And I don't think I've, I'm missing my federal form from any other place. I used to go to H&R Block years ago. And then I went to like some private um, practices that do taxes. And they always gave me what I needed. So I don't understand with Jackson Hewitt. I don't understand their thought process or why that is or why they would hold it. But I'm not too happy about that. So I would never, ever go there. And I would not suggest ever going there. So if you guys want to go get your taxes done by somebody, I would not go there. And I heard them, they, they she charged the people that were in there $400 to get their taxes done. I paid 80 Now, I could go get the software and do it myself. But 80 no, I, we paid 70 So to pay $70 to have somebody else do it, whatever. And I'm putting it in somebody else's pocket. He works for a living. That's what he does. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to um, sign off for now, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. It's time to go home and feed my belly. Okay. Okay, so we just stopped to get gas, and we are heading out to the new house so that we can get the inspection done. So we've got that going on, and then when we get there, Greg and I need to get like lots of measurements and video and pictures so that we can kind of figure out how we're going to decorate and set the house up. We need to know the sizes between doors and corners and all that kind of stuff so we've got to do that um, and then I think we're gonna head out for lunch but we're gonna do something like really simple like maybe a taco or something like real simple I forgot to wear my jacket because I put this we got this at Costco it's a um, thermal jacket so I got that one and then I got my sweatshirt over top of it and I got a shirt like a regular t-shirt underneath it so that should be fine that should be good um so yeah so that's what's going on and right now we're stopping to get gas gas here is a dollar 97 for regular so it's not too bad i guess right mm. it's under two dollars so that's got to be good 
All right, we'll check up with you guys when we get to the house. Okay, so Greg didn't end up getting the tank full because we went to Carol's to get gas and they charge you five cents per gallon when you use credit card. That sucks. Okay, so. From the door over here? Uh-huh. 46 inches. 46 inches? Yeah. Between that and the door, okay. See, I was thinking that there was some space right here. This is what I was wondering about too is I don't know if you would not like this. Okay. Like this. We can keep it? Yeah, we'll do away with For real? Get it again. I can't bend. Okay. I can go there. I can stoop. <laughs> a big fridge fits here. But what about the height? Yeah, that might be a problem. That's what I'm thinking. But can we just take that cabinet out or? Can the fridge go over here then? It can. I mean, the fridge can go there. Well, then. There's nothing here, but we can put the fridge Then here. that's a non issue. The fridge can go here and something else can go there. All right, now. We don't have one made. Oh. You're getting right in my way. <laughs> I'm trying to video so. When you say, do you know how many electrical outlets there are? I can say, sure, if you weren't right in front of my face. How many home inspectors is top of the bottom half? Right now, six. Okay, so we're seeing five. Pretty cool, there's a door there. Didn't even know. A couple of dead receptacles in this room. The uh a light here. Tell me how much you love me. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> kick you. <laughs> Babe, move out the way. Okay, measuring the back door, what is it? 31. 31, okay. Yep. I, I can take this door off if I have to. Okay. We give the extra room coming in to 31. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm in my soon to be closet and it's a lot bigger than my current closet. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. But the boys are talking, the realtor, Greg, and the um, inspector. So they're just like BS talking. So I was like, let me go run up in the attic. So I <laughs> went up in the attic, and now I'm in the spare bedroom, and the house is like huge and I realized that if I need Greg it's not as simple as he's not in the kitchen he's he must be in the bathroom kind of thing because he could be anywhere in this house so that'll be a little bit different this is actually going to be our master bedroom so we did some measurements and that kind of stuff so we can try to figure out how we're going to do everything I need to make sure that Greg is done with all the measurements that he needs but that's kind of it, and then I think we're going to go get something to eat because I'm starving. 